All right, so the next pigment I want to talk about today is carotenoids. Um, so for this pigment, um, some few things to remember. So carotenoids are going to be more of our like yellow and orange um, colored um, produce items. So the example in the video that I'm going to post is with carrots and corn. So um, some tips to remember on this one. Carrots and corn, so we think yellow and orange, right? Um, color changes very little. So carotenoids color changes very little. Um, they are very stable in um, their pH environment, whether it's acidic or basic. The color doesn't change a whole lot. Um, but uh, it is unique in that it's um, fat soluble. So I like to think carrots, corn, color changes very little, chubby or fat, soluble. Um, it's insoluble in water. Um, and again, the basic or the alkaline solution kind of breaks down the fiber. So like the carrots that get cooked get really mushy. Um, so that's kind of all I have on carotenoids. Um, something to know too, it does include some red colors. So like your tomatoes, um, the important, um, phytochemical or antioxidant that's in our tomatoes. We want to know that goes into this carotenoid group, um, is going to be lycopene. So lycopene for our tomatoes, actually even watermelons. I love watermelon. Um, so phytochemicals, antioxidants, tomatoes, watermelon, red color, lycopene. Kind of remember that all together um, for our carotenoids.